Welcome back little friends and welcome to this very highly requested video. It is a video on my favourite brushes. For this video I'm going to focus just on the eyes because I feel like if I do a whole tutorial on all of my favourite brushes it will probably just be too long and I hate making videos that are like way too long because I find that they can just be a little bit boring. So I decided to break it into two videos. So this one is just the eyes and I am going to film another one just solely on all my favourite face brushes. So if you want to know all my favourite eye brushes and if you want to see this eye tutorial then please keep watching. So my number one favourite, favourite eye brush is this Zoeva 228 brush. They are my all time favourite brushes. Like if I had to pick one brush to do my makeup with for the rest of my life, it would be this. What I really like about these brushes is that they just give a really nice blend on the eyeshadow and I always use these for, <clears throat> excuse me, I always use these for my first transition shade. They just get into the crease and just really diffuse the product and give like that flawless blend to the shadow. And they're big enough just to really like diffuse the product. So if you want, want your eyeshadow look to be really, really, really blended, this is the brush for you. If you've been following my tutorials for a while now, you'll already have heard Zoeva 228 about a million times because I think it's in every single one of my tutorials. The palette I'm using today is this Morphe Hit The Lights 39L palette. This palette was done in collaboration with four different beauty influencers, so that's kind of cool. These are all the shades, so each artist designed like eight shadows each. These eight, these eight, these eight, and these eight were done by four different people. So it's kind of cool, it's a cool little concept. So the ones I'm gonna be using today, mainly focusing on these shades up here. I'm going for like a nice sparkly brown eye look. Um, and so these ones were designed by Twee. If you don't know Twee, then you have to find out who she is because she's so cute and so funny. I'll leave her handle somewhere here on the screen. And congratulations to Twee for this because that's pretty amazing. And then also these ones down here. Oh shit, I just put my nail in it. What did I get? Okay, smooth that over. I literally don't own an eyeshadow palette that doesn't have a nail dint in it. Uh, so yeah, these ones here were done by a girl called Kaylee. Um, she is another Irish beauty influencer. She's amazing. You need to check her out. I'll link her. I'll put her handle here somewhere as well. She does like the most creative looks. Like, her talent is insane. So congratulations to Kaylee and Twee and these. I'm gonna start with this neutral shade. So I'm just gonna take some on my brush and then tap off the excess. You always want to tap off the excess, otherwise you'll end up like with a clump of colour and then you're trying to blend it out. Nobody has time for that. So I'm just going to start by really gently blending this into my crease. So I'm just going in back and forth motions and then also little circular motions just to build up the colour. So I just kind of alternate between doing both of these techniques. So I like my first shade that I put down to be really diffused because we're, it is a transition shade and we're using it so my other colours can blend easily into it. The pressure that I'm using is quite light as well, like you don't want to go in there and like fucking poke yourself in the eye. You just want to do it nice and gently and slowly build up the colour. You don't want to grab too much colour all at once, otherwise it can be a hot mess. It's easier to add on than it is to take it away. So, little by little. The next colour I'm taking is this shade called Hook Up. I'm gonna go in with the same brush. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I go in with a smaller brush, but I still want the next shade to be like fairly well, like buffed out and blended. So I'm gonna go in with the same brush and I'm gonna go focusing this more into my crease and I'm not gonna blend it out as much as I did the first shade. This is almost even a lighter pressure, just using the tip of the brush and blending that in. Again, using the same motions, little window wiper and little circular motions. By the way, I literally cannot wait to put my Christmas tree up. I'm counting down the days. I would put it up now, but I know I'd get pissed off looking at them within a month. So 
I'm trying to hold off for as long as I can. But I just can't wait until the place looks so Christmassy. It's my favourite. So something that I always like to have is like a big fluffy brush. So I always like to have a brush like this. A pretty big brush for an eye. And this is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush JH30. So it's really big and fluffy. So I don't like to put any product on these brushes. I like to just kind of go in like in between my colors, in between each shade and just kind of blend them together. Just helps kind of everything just blend a little more. So the next size brush that I like to use is, I'm gonna show it to you in comparison to the first one. So this one here is the first one I just used and then this one is the next one I like to use, so see the way it's just like a little bit of a smaller version of it. It's very similar to a MAC 217 brush, which is like a very popular MAC brush. Um, I just really like the shape. Again, it's still fluffy enough to blend out and diffuse the colour, but the bristles are like a little bit more compact, so it helps you with more of a like precision application you know you can kind of get into more areas where you need to get so i'm gonna take this one this is a morphe i think this was a morphe brush i think it was the morphe um jeffree star as i said it's very very similar in shape to a mac 217 so i'm gonna go in with the shade makeout sesh which is a dark brown really light pressure i'm gonna go in and deepen it a little bit more because our lid's gonna be like nice and shimmery that I really want to get in there and deepen my crease so you can see the contrast because I don't have a very prominent crease. This size brush just, as I said, helps me get in to my crease, but it's still fluffy enough to blend out the product. You'll see, I can be more precise on where I want my application to be. So because my eyes are a little bit hooded, I'm gonna bring this dark shade up a little bit more because when I put the color all over the lid, I'm gonna lose so much of this. So it depends on your eye shape, how high up you need to go. But you definitely don't wanna bring the darkest shade like too far up to your brow bone, otherwise it looks like you're just gonna have a black eye. You know, like I'll move my arm around an angle of the brush depending on what way I need it to be. And um, one tip I will give you is hold the brush towards the end of the handle because you'll have a much lighter touch that way in comparison to if you held it closer to here, you're more inclined to kind of get in there. You have no give on it. You know what I'm saying? So always hold your brush down towards the end and that way you have a much lighter touch so if you're someone who's kind of been struggling with that try and hold your brush different ways and hopefully that will help so again i'm going back in to my first brush i'm not going to take up any product just yet just whatever is left on it and i'm going to go along again with the tip of the brush along the dark shade just to make sure it's blended nicely because we don't want any harsh dark lines I use a lot of Zoeva face brushes too and I will go through all them in a separate video. I just thought it would be best to do an eye video and just kind of focus on that and then do a face video rather than trying to fit in so much in one video. It can be too long sometimes, you know? Another little thing I like to do with my eyeshadow is just take a really light face powder or a really light eyeshadow and just take some on a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use the Zoeva 228, the other one, the clean one. And I just like to kind of really lightly dust this underneath or along my brow bone. I just feel like it really helps just like soften the blend and yeah, it just kind of cleans everything up a little bit. So for my lid, the brushes vary depending on what I'm doing. Um, so we have these two fluffy brushes, or sorry, these two flat brushes. These are both Zoeva. The small one is a 239 and the big one is a 234. The smaller one I would use more than the bigger one. Again, it just kind of depends on the type of look I want to go for. And then I also have this small dense flat brush. This is a NYX brush. I don't know what it is. It could be like a NYX lip brush. I'm not sure. This is great for doing a cut crease that you use your concealer. So you can just get right in there and just boom, boom, boom. 
you know. So for a cut crease style, I'm not going to do that today. But for a cut crease, you want a brush that's really dense, really thin. See there? It's pretty thin. So you want something like this to do a cut crease because you want that line to be so sharp and just... But for today, I'm going to use the 234, which is the smaller flat brush. So these brushes are dense, but they're still a little bit fluffy. So you can have a little bit of a blend on it. They're not completely dense, but they're dense enough that you can really pack product on, which I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to take the shade Flirt Alert. So I'm going to get that and squirt that all over the brush. And I'm going to go right into the shade Flirt Alert. And just like really wiggle it into the palette. And because this is damp, it's just going to really stick to the lid and really, really pop. Pressing this on like this. All I'm doing, as you can see, is tap, tap, tapping this all over my lid in just tiny little areas at a time. Because I want this to be really intense. I really want the glitter to pop. So... Just do little areas at a time and press rather than blend. Because if I blend this out, it's going to shear out the product. And that is not what I want. I want it to really, really pop. I'm going to go back in with the darker brown. Same brush. And just kind of lightly get into this outer corner. I'm just going to go in with my liner now and do a quick wing. I do have a tutorial on wing liner, which I'll link in the description box if you want to check it out. But for now, I'm just going to really quickly do this. So for the underneath, I always like to take a little small shader brush. This one is a MAC brush. It's so old that the number's worn off. I think it was a 219 or a 209, not 100% sure, but I'll link it below. It's just like a really small little shader brush. It's great for getting right underneath the eye. So I'm going to take this shade Makeout Sesh, and I'm going to go right underneath my eye along my lower lash line, just in back and forth motions. So now I'll go in a brush shape like this, but that one's dirty. So I'm going to take this one. This is a Marc Jacobs one. This one is a little bit more tapered at the top in comparison to this little fella, but they still do the same job. So this one's it's not too big for the underneath of the eye. So I'm going to take a mix of Hookup and My Type, which are the two shades that I used in the crease. And then I'm going in to blend this out. And then I'm just taking some of the shade My Type and just going along the edge. I'm just going to take a dark brown. This is a Marc Jacobs pencil in the shade Earthquake. And I'm going to use this in my waterline. So I'm going to take another small brush. This is a Zoeva 231, which is a little baby blending brush. This is also great for if you really want to get like that definition in there. This is a great little one because again, it's quite dense, but it also has like a little bit of fluff to it. So it will blend slightly at the same time, but it's great for getting into these areas. It's also good for underneath the eye. Today I'm going to use it to do my inner corner highlight. I'm going to take the shade Vibin. I'm going to wet this brush a little bit. And I'm just going to go into the inner corner here. Make that pop. And I'm just gonna drag it a little bit in here to my inner, inner corner lid. And a little bit underneath. Just to give it a little extra pizzazz, if you will. And that is it. They are my favorite eye brushes. I'll link the brushes that I use down below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll answer as best I can. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well so you can see more of my makeup looks and videos over there. That's pretty much it. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Fucking uh, hearing things. Got a... Minor
as well. So ooh. that way you have a much. <laughs>